Speed boats, performance boats, go fast boats, whatever you want to call them. When you see one, you know what they are. No company has really evolved with the market since a takeover of center consoles. But what if I told you about a boat that I feel is evolving into a way more viable performance boat category? What's up guys, it's Life Offshore. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and drop a thumbs up for me, it really helps me out. But back to this video. In my last video, I told you guys the reasons why I felt performance boats went out of style. In this video, I'll be talking about the boat that just might bring them back in style. And I feel that they're evolving with the marine world while still keeping their core values, which are speed and offshore capabilities. The boat I'm talking about is a Mystic C3800, but now renamed to C4000. Before I tell you why I think this will bring performance boats back on the map, let me give you some specs. It has a length of 40 feet and a beam of 11 feet. That's a massive boat, especially when you consider it being propelled by only two outboards. You can have this boat rigged with 400 Arvarados or Mercury's new 450Rs. Now this boat won't be the fastest boat on the water, but you'll still be in the triple digits. Where this boat lacks in top end speed, it makes it up with reliability, comfort, offshore capabilities, and uniqueness. Mystic reports that the boat runs about 115 miles an hour with 450Rs, which is about 15 miles an hour slower than your smaller competitors. But what it allows for with its bigger size is offshore capabilities that smaller cats with outboards can't do. And this makes running to the Bahamas a walk in the park. The reason why I say this boat is opening up a path to potentially bring back the popularity of speed boats is because your traditional performance boats have a very small cockpit with limited space. They're very fun when you're going fast, but that's about it. This cockpit layout allows for more relaxing and family friendly boating when you're not going fast. For example, if you beach this boat or you go to a sandbar, the open cockpit allows for easy entry back on the boat if your kids or wife want to go swimming. A minor adjustment like this is a step in the right direction to evolving speedboats to a bigger audience. As you guys know, a popularity boost came to the performance sectors when outboard speed catamarans hit the market. Now with this open cockpit and lounging cushion layout like this Mystic has, I believe it will open up a wider demographic of buyers it will be much easier to convince the wifey that this should be your next boat. I also believe that other companies will start to copy and make little tweaks of their own to this open cockpit design. The main problem was speedboats lost their popularity due to high maintenance, cost of operation, low reliability, and lack of comfort when not cruising. Outboard catamarans fixed the high maintenance, cost of operations, and low reliability problem, but they did not fix the lack of comfort. This mystic, the idea they had with this open cockpit, is bridging the gap when it comes to speed and comfort. Now you guys might think differently and you think this is just a minor detail, but for me, I think that minor detail is what's gonna start back the revolution uh, or the rebound, I should say, to this market. Also, I believe that the price point needs to come back down just a little bit. Uh, it doesn't have to be super dramatic. For example, this Mystic is much cheaper than, let's say, an MTI. I would also like to see a new company come out with this with a more affordable business plan. Obviously, they can't be too cheap. These are luxury items, guys. But just a little bit cheaper or some sort of models that aren't as expensive, so it's easier to get in as an entry-level boat. These boats obviously aren't for entry-level, but what I mean by entry-level, I mean in this sector. Let's say somebody that's been in center consoles or they have some sort of cruisers or day cruisers, they can jump into this boat and it won't be that hard of a transition. But then again, it's gotta be a little bit cheaper because I think the price point also holds back people from coming into the market. But that about wraps it up for this video, guys. You know I like to keep my videos short. I don't like to drag them out. I like to get right to the meat of potatoes of the video and to what I have to say. I don't like dragging out the video to 10 minutes so I can monetize it for a lot of advertisements and whatnot. That's just my style, guys. You know how I roll. Until next time, guys, you can catch me offshore.